Thanks for following this presentation. This presentation aims to show that uh, the nothing Dawkins and Krauss are talking about is actually an equivocal name for God. The dawkins Krauss position is eloquently summarized by Richard Dawkins in the following quotation. Here, the continuation of Dawkins' quotation. In fact, Lawrence Krauss claims that gravity plus quantum mechanics allows space and possibly time to appear from nothing, but uh, on analysis his argument uh, amounts to stating that uh, space-time does not come into existence from anything existing within space and time. Indeed, Lawrence Krauss states basically the same as I state in the lectures on quantum physics and relativity one to three, that is, that non-locality experiments and quantum gravity tell us that both the quantum correlations and the space-time itself come from no thing within space and time, from nothing material. The universe is emergent it comes into existence from outside space and time. From no being can emerge nothing other than no being. If the explanation of the visible world is no being, then what is, is not, which is absurd. Therefore, the space-time and the whole visible world comes constantly into existence from some being existing outside the space and time. The nothing Krauss and Dawkins are talking about does not mean absence of being, but rather refers to a being existing outside space and time. Krauss nothing is therefore the necessary being, and this is what the classical proofs of the existence of God refer to as God. This conclusion can be strengthened by another argument we lose consciousness when we sleep. Nonetheless, we assume that our personal identity remains conserved. On the basis of this assumption, I claim for my rights, in particular to be the author of my articles and the owner of my bank account. A materialist might raise the objection that I only remain myself because my cells remain. But this objection amounts to stating that space-time is the substratum sustaining us in being. However, we are taught by quantum gravity that uh, the space-time fabric is discrete like a pixel screen. There is no material connection between my cells 
after sleeping and my cells before sleeping. Lawrence Krauss claims science has demonstrated that a universe from nothing is not only plausible but likely. This claim is fallacious. What science actually demonstrates is that the space-time has a pixelated nature, is broken. The universe comes from outside the space and time. The visible comes into existence from the invisible. Hence, we have to give up the illusion that space-time is the substratum sustaining us in being. There are two types of beings, material beings that have a broken existence in space-time like pixelated figures have in a computer screen, and persons with identity and unbroken existence outside space and time. If we were only a space-time tube consisting of pieces of space-time, we could not experience a some special moment of now and time passing as we do. In fact, what happens is that when you experience a special moment of now, you are grasping yourself as a person who exists outside the space and time with unchangeable identity. Human persons are embodied spirits. A human body is nothing other than a spiritual soul appearing in space and time. Only persons do unbrokenly exist. This means that when we sleep, we are sustained in our personal being by some person existing outside the space-time, a pure spirit who just is, and without need of being sustained by another being. Richard Dawkins points out that the theory of nothing is very neat because of its simplicity. Apparently, he ignores the simplicity attributed to God by classical theism. If we acknowledge spiritual principles, things are very much simplified. If one states that the universe comes out of nothing, by the same reason one should state that the words Dawkins and Krauss utter in a debate come out of nothing, but this is certainly equivocal. Krauss nothing, like uh, Odysseus nobody, is a deception. It refers, in fact, to God. By assuming that we live, move, and have our being in a continuous space-time, we assign divine attributes to it. This is a primeval idolization that pervades the whole history of human thinking even to our own times. Today quantum, today's quantum science has not buried God, but the divinization of space-time, the space-time idol. We live, move, and are in a personal being who is, the being whose name is Yahweh or God. Thank you very much for your attention.